Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. So I'm about to head out on the town. Uh, I got this fragrance in, I think like three days ago, and I'm not even opened it yet. So I figured let's go ahead and crack it open. I'll wear this as my scent of the day and also do a first impression. So it's Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled Marine. It says right on the front there, limited edition. So I imagine it's just supposed to be for this year. Now I say, I imagine that it's just supposed to be for this year because of the fragrance companies, you can never tell. Sometimes you'll have a limited edition that really truly does only come out for that one year and then it becomes really hard to find. And then you'll have some fragrance companies that have a limited edition that's still for sale like five years later. But this one is limited. So I guess if you want it, get it, which is the rule of thumb for, for everything. If you want it, get it, if you can afford it. Let's go ahead and just roll the intro real quick and then we'll carry on. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I love a fragrance where it just rattles around in there. I love it. Nice. And here is the box. I actually like the look here. This white on blue looks good. You've got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration on the front. It's an eau de toilette, 100 ml size bottle. You've got Hugo Boss on top of the bottle. Nothing on the sides. On the back, you've got the note breakdown. They keep it pretty simple. On the top, you have frozen apple and mint. In the mid, cinnamon and clary sage. In the base, patchouli and cashmere wood. And then on the bottom, you're gonna find your badge code, which is, oh man, one, three, three, seven. And let's go ahead and pull that bottle out. Hey, I like the look of that. It's got a matte finish to it, a nice deep blue coloration. Again, name of the house right on the front there. Name of the house on top of the cap as well. On the bottom, you have a sticker with your badge code and the cap clicks into place. Looks really good. So even though there's no official aquatic note here, I'm expecting an aquatic note or some sea saltiness because they did name the fragrance marine. And they mean marine as in the ocean, not marine as in a soldier in the branch of the military. At least I'm assuming. I'm also interested to see if I like this more than Boss Bottled Tonic because I myself am a big fan of Boss Bottled Tonic. I think for the price, it's a wonderful spring and summertime fragrance. A nice twist on the original Boss bottled DNA, even if a bunch of people out there didn't really seem to gravitate toward it quite as much as I myself did. And you just gotta love Hugo Boss, never giving up the Boss Bottle line, always making sure to keep pumping those flankers out, even if some of them are complete trash. Now let's check this one out. Let's give it a spray. Let's see how she smells. Yeah, I'm completely unimpressed. <laughs> It's not quite as frozen as I was expecting. Actually, it's more of a, like a softer version of Boss Bottled. I'm not quite sure what to say here. There are parts of it that I like, and there are parts of it that I'm completely underwhelmed by. So when I give this a smell, I get a little bit of that apple, but it's so muted. Frozen apple, uh, maybe not quite that. To me, it's more like flat apple, because it doesn't really, jump off my skin. It just kind of lays there. It's just kind of like somebody that got knocked out and fell down into a boxing ring. The apple is just there like, ugh. like it's not coming to, it's not really jumping off here. I'm going to spray it on my other hand just so I can get that initial blast once more. Alcohol. Great. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Let's give it a second. Yeah, that apple's just not really doing it for me. It's just not doing it. Great description. <laughs> somebody just shaking their head. Not doing it for me. I was expecting a much bigger, brisk punch in the opening. Mint and frozen apple. When you tell me that, I'm expecting this blast of green, uh, this kind of briskness, this liveliness, this maybe even bit of mentholation that's gonna give you that cooling feeling or that cooling aspect. The mint doesn't at all smell like a realistic mint note. It's more like that, you know, kind of sweet take on mint, uh, something that's popularized in Versace Eros. It's not as noticeable as in Eros, but it's a similar idea as the way that you're going to put forth that mint note as they use in Eros. Again, to be clear, I'm not saying this smells like Eros. I'm just saying that the mint here doesn't smell like you actually took a mint leaf and you muddled it in your hand and gave it a smell. It's not like that at all. It's just that synthetic kind of sweet mint. The cinnamon is dialed way down here as compared to the original Boss Bottled or a flanker like Boss Bottled Intense, which I would have expected. You know, I, I wouldn't think that the cinnamon is gonna be really big and in your face and a more summertime take on this fragrance, but it's not as noticeable as you might think. 
going into this, considering what this line is known for traditionally. Get a little bit of that clary sage that comes out kind of in a mild herbal aromatic facet. The apple dissipates pretty quickly for me, at least in this first impression here. Yeah, the more this is on my skin, the more of a letdown it comes across as. The opening just doesn't have that attention grabbing feeling that I would want. You know, when you spray on a designer fragrance, a lot of the times you're looking for that opening to just smell fantastic, to really rope you in. But this one just kind of does nothing for me. Now, I know a lot of people have done first impressions on this. They've reviewed this already. I got mine pretty late because I wasn't overly enthused in the fragrance release if i'm honest i did decide to go ahead and pick it up obviously but it's not something that was really on my radar it's like a must own gotta get that it was more the type of fragrance that i had in the back of my mind as something that i'll pick up down the road from a discounter truthfully i wish i had done that i think boss bottled tonic is better if we're just talking a spring summertime take on boss bottled this smells really forgettable this smells like something that you know it's completely wearable it, there's nothing that's uh, off-putting about this but it's very bland so it seems like the type of fragrance that in a year's time nobody he's going to care about. It makes sense. It's a limited edition. It's not going to be one of those limited editions where everybody's seeking it out years after the fact, trying to pick up a, a holy grail bottle of it. This is going to be one of those limited editions where people go, yeah, it was limited because it wasn't all that good. Now, as it's drying, it's getting a little bit more sweetness. I'm picking up some of the cashmere wood that's coming out. You know, it's it's fine in the sense that it smells pleasant. You know, people, people aren't going to hate the way it smells or anything, but it does lack that wow factor. It lacks that, that intrigue. It, it lacks that originality. You could also say that this has a little bit of an aquatic uh, vein running through the fragrance, even though it's not an official note on the back of the box here, but it's not truly an aquatic fragrance. Definitely no sea saltiness or anything like that. So even though the name is marine, it's only vaguely a marine sort of scent. Obviously, I can't tell you guys about the performance because I just sprayed it on and I've been doing the first impression here. I'm about to go out. Uh, usually I would go ahead and go have my wife smell it, wait for the dry down, come back and shoot that and everything. But I'm going to be out uh, for pretty much the rest of the day. So by the time I get back home, I'm, I'm probably just going to call it a night. So unfortunately, I won't have that part of the first impression here. You're just going to have my initial thoughts on the opening and the mid. This does come across like a springtime take on Boss Bottled. So it makes sense that it would come out right now at the beginning of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. Overall, I got to tell you guys, unless you're a big fan of Hugo Boss, in the boss bottled line. Uh, I wouldn't reach for this. You know, I, I wouldn't pay retail for this. I don't think it's a good way to spend your money. And even if you are a fan of the boss bottled line, typically they get discounted pretty heavily once they do hit discounters. So in just about all circumstances, I would say to wait for this, especially with all the boss bottled flankers that have come out over the years. When you take something and you just, you know, do a couple tweaks, but you don't really put anything out that's overly new, it gets old. And that's what this is. It just kind of falls in the middle of of all those other boss bottled flankers. I mean, it smells nice. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say it smells gross or anything like that. Nothing is out of place where things are obviously not working together. You know, you don't have one note that's screechy and everything else trying to fight for position. That's not going on. It's just the whole experience is kind of muted for me. Like I said at the beginning, a little bit flat. I love the bottle. I like the box. I like the color scheme they went with here. Bring this on for a third time. There's a light mentholation there in the opening. So I get a little more of that mint. So I get a little more of that frozen accord, which is actually just the apple dialed down and then that mint kind of sitting over top it to make a frozen apple. That's how it smells. But still, even with me keying in specifically on that mint a little bit more, you know, looking for it a little bit more when I spray this on, I'm still not really in love with it. It's it's just not worth full retail. All right, guys, it's going to do it for me. Boss Bottled Marine. It's going to be one of those scents that's somewhere right there in the middle in limbo land, you know, like a five out of 10, six out of 10, something like that. You smell it on somebody you think that's fine but not the type of scent that i would ever smell and be like whoa what is that that's nice i gotta get that if you've smelled that let me know what you think about it in the comments below i'm sure some people love it but uh just not doing it for me thanks for hanging with me guys thanks for your support stay safe out there i'll see you tomorrow with another very good video see you later